Rally to me would mean rallying for your brothers. You know, sticking together, being there for each other. How would you describe your friendship with Eric? Are you guys like brothers? When I think of Eric Habilo, I think, you know, my brother. That's my homeboy. We've been best friends my whole life. We'd all grow up like playing tag, roughhousing, wrestling, anything you can imagine. And we just played like regular boys. And I just love talking with him. He's a great person, always fun to be around. He's down really to do anything. He's not afraid of anything too. So I just love being around him. First and 10, Ian Book looking end zone, touchdown. And every time you hear his name, what do you say? Man. What do you say? Dummy, freaking Dummo! Dummy, freaking <laughs> Trouble! <laughs> he yells at the TV all the time, man. He shoots number 24 and he lights up. Now that you guys are apart, how is your bond with you being here at Notre Dame? The one thing I'm happy we can always bond on is he loves watching Notre Dame games. He's always watching it with his dad, wearing my jersey, screaming, go Notre Dame every time. And that's one way I just can still be connected with him now. So not only does Eric watch you on TV and watch Notre Dame, he's actually been to a couple of games. Can you talk about the 2019 Louisville matchup? The Louisville Notre Dame first game of the season, like we everyone had to go. It was gonna be my first collegiate game. So my entire family drove up, his entire family drove up. Seeing them in the stands, it was pretty awesome. After I scored, I was able to see them from the field and they were jumping up and down. My sister was going crazy. Them being at that first game was was pretty special. How has your friendship with Eric shaped your career path and what you want to do? Next semester, I'm aligning some classes to get into the special needs uh, workforce. How does Eric inspire you? What he's done to my life is just opened up a whole new world of what it means to have like special needs and disabilities and like not just that defining them. They can be whoever they want to be, and you don't have to treat them any different because of it. That's my brother for life. That's one thing I know.